Illinois Congressman Adam Kinzinger joins us now. Happy 2016. Hey, nice to happy have New you. Year. Well, we heard Jeb Bush and Chris Christie on the Sunday show saying, if this is such a good idea, let's take it to Congress and let the American people debate it through through them. What do you say? You know, look, the president may not like what Congress has done. Congress may be unpopular. Look, we all get that. We understand it. But that doesn't mean Congress doesn't exist. That doesn't mean you conveniently get to throw out the Constitution. Every time the president has tried these broad-reaching executive orders, you think of immigration, for instance, the courts have shut him down. But what the president knows is that it takes Congress a while to take this through the court system. It's just kind of naturally how it is. And he can try to turn the American people for his things. But if you look, at the end of the day, what he he's proposing, what has been proposed, would not have stopped any of these tragic mass shootings uh, from happening. And what he says, we got to do something. Right, yeah. I mean, but, look, it's an issue of the heart. Look, I live in Illinois, and Illinois has one of the, it was one of the tightest gun uh, states until just sure. recently got concealed carry. Uh, but there's a lot of violence. There's a lot of gun violence that happens in Chicago, and it's one of the strictest cities on guns. It's not an issue of gun availability. It's an issue of the heart of people. Plus, isn't it the... Also, an issue of enforcement. There, it is. But, yeah. You know, when you look at gun control laws, there's a gun control law to pretty much enforce everything, provided somebody, you know, says, "Hey, wait a minute, you can't do that." Well, you look and there's there's tens of thousands of people that were flagged in the background investigation, and only just a handful of them were ever prosecuted. Let's prosecute people that shouldn't be buying guns. You know, let's ensure that you know folks that are actually terrorists aren't buying guns. But to say we're going to deny somebody the due process of the law under the Second Amendment just because right. uh, they're names. Ted Kennedy was on the do not fly list, for instance. Right. I mean, example, uh, it wouldn't have stopped Aurora, wouldn't have stopped South Carolina, right. wouldn't have stopped any of these uh, tragic shootings, but the president's going to meet Monday with Loretta Lynch, and he's going to have a big forum on Wednesday. We'll see if he moves the needle. Now let's talk about what uh, Speaker Ryan wants to do. He's got a conservative agenda set to launch. Name the three things he's going to announce today. Well, one of the things we want to talk about is obviously the repeal of Obamacare and pushing forward our principles for the future. We've talked about tax reform for a long time. That's very important, bringing forward uh, pro-growth tax reform. That's how you balance the budget, by the way. It's not just through cuts. It's through growing the economy. The idea that we need consumer-driven health care. These are what we're going to go on the offense on. Look, last year was a rough year for Republicans. We know that. There was a lot of infighting. Uh, there was a lot of fighting the president unsuccessfully. Now is our opportunity with some of those big fights behind us to move forward and, frankly, show the American people what we stand for and partner with whoever our nominee is going to be. And defunding Planned Parenthood wasn't right. tied to the $1.1 trillion tax and spending bill, um, but because they didn't want to muddy the waters, apparently. So that's the problem in a divided government is the president has to sign whatever bill ends up. I mean, that's what our sure. Constitution says. So you have to figure out what can we get and what can't we get. I would love to get a defund of Planned Parenthood in. I voted multiple times to defund Planned Parenthood. Unfortunately, that wasn't in the final bill. The long-term fight here is to talk about, uh, you know, convenience abortions, making abortion illegal, over time. And, uh, and, and women's right, health care, right. let's do that. Well, uh, we were showing earlier some of the photographs, things we've been doing over the last yeah. uh, week or two, and you brought one as well. Tell I us, did. Tell us what we were seeing. Oh, we that's what. Oh, great. What a, what a good looking crew, except for the guy on the right. Uh, that's my family. We were in Florida over uh, the week of uh, Christmas. First year we did this, and uh, we had a fantastic time. I got the jet ski parasail, and my dad fell off the jet ski, but he had a great sense of humor that's about right. it. So. It's appropriate that you were on the right, right? Yes, absolutely. That's very appropriate. <laughs> In fact, the family made sure of it. It's so. usually freeze during the winter, but this time you decided to take the I decided to get out. a little bit of a tan. Unfortunately, it seems to be fading some, but anyway, it was a good time. They've got, got these me. boots you can walk into, and they'll yeah. just spray you. Just I've make heard. sure you turn and don't stand there. <laughs> Do the Seinfeld thing. Get the Seinfeld thing over and over. Congressman, thanks. Happy New Year. Yeah, you too. Thank All you. Right. Thanks,